so it's a beautiful day out and we are gonna get back to this sheath uh, told you in the last video I was gonna clean up the edges and kind of round up some of the corners to get this sheath a little bit more true and square and I got my new little saw so uh, not saw but sander but give me a couple minutes I'm gonna work on these edges and see if I can't get this thing rounded up and get some of these edges ready for burnishing and straps so we'll be back Almost forgot something to make sure my back edge isn't getting all scratched up on this. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I've been working on the edges, um, getting everything kind of cleaned up, um, smoothened out to where everything's nice and flush and true. Made everything come up to 90 degree angles. Um, after, if you use a sander, you may notice a little bit of a leather um, lip here along the edge. Don't worry. Um, once you take your edging tool down the side of this, it's going to trim that off. And I've also started rounding everything up. Um, with the sander and I might get this side on video just to kind of show you how I'm doing it um, so uh, let me set up this camera and we'll be back sorry if this gets loud y'all
on to the next steps all right so now we're back um got all my edges sanded and smooth and flush everything's true 90 degrees got the end rounded up um as you can see there's this little lip of the leather that i was talking about but after taking the edging tool around it that should clean everything up pretty good um i'm gonna zip around this just a little bit and then we'll kind of show you how this works um this has just like a little groove in it so basically this is a sharp little gouge razor on a guide so uh, when you set this on the edge of the leather and you push and you rake it across the edge it's gonna um, gouge a nice clean um, beveled edge so here we go with this And my tool's just a little bit dull right now, so I'm just going to kind of rake it across the strap a couple times. This thing cleaned up just a little bit. You don't want to push too hard. Um, just a little bit on that strap will do wonders. As you can see, it leaves a nice, clean, straight edge all the way down to the end. It kind of bevels it out some. So um, I'm not going to bore you with all this. I'm going to go around this project, clean up all the corners, and um, take out just a little bit of the imperfections. I try to round this up a little bit more and get it ready for burnishing the edges. So I'll be back here in a minute. All right, so I'm back after using the edging tool, and as you can see, it knocked out the majority of, well, all of the little uh, leather lip that was going around it. Everything cleaned up real nice. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come back and I'm going to restain all the edges on this um, with the dark brown. Um, no need to do the double tone how we did the light brown with the with the red hint to it the and then the dark over it but i'm gonna come back in with the dark brown and i'm gonna actually give these edges a couple coats because i want them to be really nice and stained dark so i'm gonna get that cleaned up and during the process of putting the stain in i'm also going to start a little bit of my burnishing process that way i can get the edges real smooth with the stain also helping hold down the little fibrous edges that way when um, I come back and actually do my for real burnishing with my edge treatment um, it's going to hold a real nice slick edge for a real long time so let me get this stained up oh yeah one other thing you might have noticed this as I was going around there's these little tag ends um, that I left up here just because I couldn't take it all the way up to the edge with that tool um, I just use a nice little sharp knife one an old timer um, I'll give this a couple zips across the strap and I'll just kind of cut those out really nice kind of like a razor knife I mean I guess you could use a razor knife but the blade has got such a heavy angle on it it's gonna be hard to kind of get in and nip that out so this is what I'm gonna use um, be back after I get this thing stained up all right I'm back we got the edges all stained up and burnished a little bit um, at the moment, I couldn't find my burnishing tool, so I just used an old Bic lighter to rub down the edges. And like I said, I use that stain to help kind of stick it down a little bit. That's why I did like the pre-burnish. Um, everything nice and cleaned up, kind of faded it in. I've just been kind of polishing it up with the cloth. This thing's starting to get a little shiny. By the time I Aussie wax this thing, it'll probably take down a fly. You know, shining in his eyes and knocking down but uh so now basically i'm gonna let this dry i'm gonna start preparing um the d-ring strap um little loop that's gonna go around here and i'm gonna have one down here also um and then i'm gonna get my stitch runs guided down like i did before with the d-ring strap back here um so let me start measuring some things out and seeing how i want to do this and We'll be back in a minute. All right, so I'm back and I 
actually kind of changed my mind. Um, I was going to make the little straps to start getting them ready for stitching in and I was going to glue them on there but um, I realized once I put this thing on my drill press and I start punching holes through this the layer of my back of my sheath is going to start getting kind of like the game Tetris. There's going to be like only one thickness of leather here where this back piece is too so when I go to do all my drilling in order to keep all my stitching um, real square I'm gonna have to stack little blocks of leather up underneath this so when I'm drilling it doesn't flex this leather and get my stitch run off nasty on the back because with this particular um, piece my pattern came really close to the edge of my stitch runs and in the first video I think or the second I was talking about how my stitch run was going to get close up here and sure enough if it didn't but I'm not too worried about it you know this is the first knife sheath like this I've ever made so once again tank that little imperfections <laughs> with love sir but uh I got the grooving tool out and I went through and made this stitch run so I'm getting ready to start putting my mark for my stitching and stuff and I'm gonna get this first run sewed up that way the welt stays nice and tight and all that stuff and then I can kind of up at the top when I lay my new straps over I'll kind of fade it in here to where I don't have to worry about hitting any of my stitching when I drill the new holes for the um, little straps up here for the d-ring so i'm gonna get this stuff ready to drill out you guys i really hope i'm explaining myself if you watched all these videos you can probably piece together what i'm talking about but i appreciate you watching with me so far on this sheath making um we're almost finished it's getting close so uh stay tuned i'll be back all right so we're back i got all my little grooves made again for my uh hole marking tool um, up here where I've overshot some of the stitches, you know, this well isn't that wide, so I had to leave myself enough room for, um, at least a double pattern of stitching here to make sure that the loop is secure because it's a, you know, it's an attachment point. And where I've overshot my stitching here, this is just going to fade into where the strap wraps over the top so you'll never see that blemish when i get to the bottom of the sheath since i'm going to be stitching another loop onto the bottom in the same way when i bring my stitch running around i'm just going to stop it short of where i know i'm going to be drilling my holes when i fold over the piece and then drill through it so none of these extra little blemishes like that are going to show so let me drill some holes and get the back side cleaned up because it's going to kind of leave a little depression sticking out um, i'll get that cleaned up get my holes prepared and um, restain the groove line and get ready to put some thread in this thing so i can put the knife in it for at least the first time before i add the attachment points so i'll be back here in a minute all right, I got some holes drilled in the sheath now, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take just a little bit more stain, and I'm going to go over the edges where this is roughed up on the back, but before I do that, I'm going to take a lighter. I'm going to rub down all the, and get everything nice and smooth, and I'm going to run a cotton swab of that stain across this, and then what I'm going to do is take a um, leather stitching needle and I'm going to stick it down in every one of these holes and I'm going to toggle that around and what that's going to do is that's going to open up my hole and clean it up and it's actually going to kind of burnish in um, these little spots with a little bit of that stain that way when I go running my stitches through this and I'm pulling the thread it won't pull up as many little um, natural leather called colored fibers because it's actually going to stain down in the holes a little bit with the excess so like I said I'm going to toggle it around get everything soaked up really good and then uh, we'll be back all right so I'm done staining in the little stitch holes now and I, like I said I stuck that little needle down in there and kind of toggled it around and stained down on the inside of all these little spots so um, I was going to do a little bit of stitching in this video but man there's so many videos out there I'm not going to bore you guys with that I'm not a professional this isn't a how to stitch or anything like that this is just a kind of like a documentary of me making this little sheath for a friend so I'm going to grab a needle and some thread and uh, get to work on all these and we'll be back for the next 
um, part, putting in our D-rings and stuff. So, thanks for making it this far in the video, and I appreciate you guys a lot. We'll be back here momentarily. All right, I'm back now. Um, got all the stitching completed finally for the most part. Um, except for a little spot that I forgot up here for in the corner. I'm going to get that in um, after the process of making the little straps. But I got a couple little straps cut for the D-rings. Um, that little ugly spot back here where that glue had ruined the finish. That's where I'm going to finish off some d nice little tabs, clean up the edges, about as nice as I did this and I'm gonna lay it over that ugly spot wrap it around that's where the D rings gonna be I'm gonna glue it um, and then we'll probably have to do this part tomorrow um, just so I know that my glue and everything's good and dry I don't want to get sloppy now here at the end so um, a couple of D rings going in um, after I finish all these off with the stain and everything then we'll put that back strap on and then show you how we're going to get rid of this ugly spot so i'll see you guys after i get these little straps finished up with the stain and everything and um later on tonight uh i'll probably turn this video back on and i'll glue them on and put the clamps on and stuff and that'll be the end so right on you guys i'll see you here in a few okay i'm done making the straps for uh holding on the knife and then also the little straps for the d-ring so tonight what i'm going to do i'm going to do like i did before in the previous videos and i'm going to um, roughen up some spots where i'm wanting these tabs to be and i'm going to fold them over and get everything lined up to where when i drill through it it's going to be on the matching side through the sheath um and clamp it all down and then i'll work on it tomorrow when i get off of work um reason why I'm not rushing is this stain still has a little bit of time to dry here. I put a good healthy coat on this since these are the uh, bendy part of the sheath. I don't want that stain to wear thin. So um, still got to get my snaps in laid on here. I already got it marked out um, for a little bit of that. Then I got to do the edge coating to keep um, this grain of leather from being fluffy like that. I'm going to finish that as well. So um tonight's the premiere of the walking dead you guys so this is the end of this video for tonight uh keep your eyes out for the next video thanks for watching and love you guys and do something fun today